Welcome to today's webinar, Maximizing Efficiency and Dropshipping, a closer look at SourceSafe's Dropship Connector for NetSuite. We have an exciting session ahead, packed with valuable insights and a live product demo. And it's actually the first time that we've shown this product in public, so we're very excited. I'm Kelly Stanley, Product Marketing Manager at SourceDay, and I'm joined by our SourceDay and NetSuite experts. Courtney Link, our NetSuite Customer Success Manager, who has worked with our customers who use NetSuite for the past two years. And Michael Maltener, Senior Solutions Consultant for our Cloud ERPs here at SourceDay. Let's kick it off with a little bit of fun. I wanna to get to know our presenters a little better. So Courtney, besides working with our NetSuite customers, can you share a fun fact or hobby about yourself that you enjoy? So for me, my fun fact would be that I have dual citizenship with Luxembourg and obviously the US. And then um, something I like to do is just be active and outside at all times. So love hiking. Nice. I can totally relate. Moving to Bend has been tough because it's been a long winter. <laughs> awesome. Michael, do you have a fun fact or tidbit that you can share with us? Yeah. Fun fact I, I usually share is in college, I was a part of an eating contest and I ate 10 Whoppers from Burger King and I haven't been to a Burger King since. <laughs> I can relate. Uh, I actually, that was my first job in high school and then through my first year of college. Um, so for three years, I had lunch at Burger King a lot and I can say I've never eaten at Burger King since either. So <laughs> thanks for sharing guys. Jumping in, for those of you who don't know Source Day and who are just starting to hear about us, I wanna take a quick minute to talk about Source Day and what makes us unique from other PO collaboration platforms, because there's a lot out there. Honestly, I don't wanna bore you with the same old corporate jargon or buzzwords, so I'm gonna have a little fun, so roll with me a little bit here. Imagine you're reading the About Us section of your favorite novel, whether that be a thriller or an adventure novel. And picture this, a team of passionate supply chain superheroes on a mission to streamline operations and conquer inefficiencies. That's Source Day. <laughs> but seriously, we strive to be anything but ordinary here at Source Day. We're the champions of seamless collaboration with your suppliers, and we want you to become the masters of visibility and order management in your business. Our goal is to always empower businesses, just like those on this webinar, to take all challenges by the horns and conquer them because there are a lot of them and they come at you every single day. Here's what we know. We are experts in helping companies grow their revenue, protect their cash flow and plan, and increase inventory terms because of our extensive knowledge and the direct spend processes. And because of that expertise and knowledge, we're trusted in this manufacturing world. We have experts on our team our co-founders worked in manufacturing and they know the pain points that we're talking about. We're also trusted in the NetSuite ecosystem. We are a built for NetSuite partner and we truly value that relationship. We are constantly innovating current products for our NetSuite users and like the Dropship Connector, creating products just for our NetSuite users. So if you're joining us and you're battling inventory management, fighting invoice discrepancies, or just navigating that complex world of drop shipping, which we'll talk about today. <laughs> We're here to guide you through all the twists and turns of that journey. So now that we have a glimpse of what Source Day is, our mission, I wanna go ahead and touch on the webinar we had on April 19th. It was the part one of this drop ship series. I'm gonna pull up a slide here and just walk through what we went, we talked about. So if you have questions about this, please go ahead and put those in the chat or the Q&A box and we're gonna to get to those. So during that first webinar, we discussed how we optimize item fulfillment in NetSuite. And we explored the challenges that businesses face with manual processes and how our two platforms help streamline operations, improve the accuracy and enhance visibility throughout that whole process of dropship. We touched on improving communication in one centralized place. So talking to your suppliers and making those responses and updates automated back into NetSuite and how important that really is. 
We also touched on monitoring performance in both NetSuite and SourceDay. That way we can identify the areas that need improvement and focus on those rather than everything that's right in front of us. And of course, we touched on the dropship process, which I'm so excited Michael's gonna show us here in a minute. And we're gonna really see how that information comes into SourceDay and flows back into NetSuite in real time. And then last but certainly not least is that invoice automation. The importance of having that updated PO data and shipment data to help get that three-way record match is so important for many, many reasons. Not only does it save our AP teammates time and energy so they can focus on the invoices that actually need it, but it also helps the company recognize revenue in the correct financial period, which of course is great. It helps for planning and cash flow protection, but also it helps our teammates who are working really hard on that selling side. They are often graded on how much revenue comes in and it's important for them to have that recognized in the right financial period so they can get praise for their work. So now that we're caught up, if there's any questions, go ahead and send them in. And I'm gonna take a look at those. And why we're doing that, I just wanna hear from Courtney about a little bit more about our NetSuite customers, because as a reminder, Courtney has worked with these NetSuite users for over two years. So she really knows firsthand the knowledge and pain points and the successes that our customers using SourceDay and NetSuite experience. So Courtney, based on your interactions with our customers, can you just talk about what pain points you hear and some that led to us creating the dropship connector, but also just in general, what are you hearing from our customers? Thanks, Kelly. So um, I've actually been privy to a number of roadblocks that have been encountered by our customers on the NetSuite base. And the nice part is, is that by receiving that feedback from them, it's allowing us to better understand how we can move forward with enhancements that actually address those pain points in a more automated and efficient way. So in these cases, uh, you know, the most common things that I'm hearing, especially as of late, is related to shipments, both inbound shipments as well as dropship. And the good news is, is we actually have a connector for both of those. You know, that again, hearing some of that feedback from our customers and being able to take that into the future. And then the obvious one here is always going to be probably not even just limited to NetSuite, but just across the board when it comes to having streamlined communication between the buyers and the suppliers. And you know, not even just getting an indication of what's been changing, but the full workflow from beginning to end. Um, and then specifically the dropship process, it can be complicated, right? So it's not a matter of just, you know, everyone does it maybe a little bit different, but when it comes to understanding, hey, we need to a faster recognition of revenue, that also means that you have to have clean data. And really that's the goal of Source Day is to be able to take the information that your supplier is providing to you, provide a one-stop shop platform that allows them to enter all of that information not just the updates and changes that might be taking place on those POs, but also being able to take the shipment information and have that updated in a faster, more real time. And then that saving the buyer time by not having to pick that information up and manually input that into your ERP, that's time savings across the board that you can apply to other areas of your day-to-day. -day. Yeah, that's, that's great. And I think I think you touched on this, but just stressing that giving the supplier a way to offer that information and so we can get it back into NetSuite. We're making it easy for them to put that into the PO process, which is big because right now there's not an easy way to do that. Exactly. And especially with the fact that some of this is all just emails going back and forth between people. And the nice part is, is that from the supplier side of things, it's not as if they are being charged for their access to source day. So if you need to have multiple people providing updates, you know, whether it's somebody that might be in charge of updates to the PO, and then another person that might be providing updates to the shipment portion, we can provide access to whoever needs it. And again, to input this information into one sole place 
And then that, that automatically is updating your ERP within a timely rate all day long. Right. Yeah, that's so important. Thank you, Courtney, for sharing that. I, I think it's clear that, uh, you know, when we, we've heard a lot about the, not just with drop shipping, but shipments in general, the lack of visibility. And so we knew that there had to be something that we could do. So I'm, I'm really excited. I'm now gonna pass it over to Michael, who's going to jump into the process of this and deep dive and show us how that's actually being done. Awesome, thanks Kelly. Yeah, give me a second here, pull up my screen. Can you see that okay, Kelly? Yep, that's perfect. Perfect. All right. Well, I have the pleasure of walking you through our dropship functionality and how we can really take NetSuite to the next level. And really, most of y'all are probably already familiar with how the, the dropship process works. For, but for those who aren't, this really all starts with the end customer in mind. So that end customer is going to kick this off by placing an order with you. You'll capture that order as a sales order within your NetSuite. And NetSuite has built this really cool dropship functionality that automatically creates the purchase order. So there's no manual re-entry from the time the end customer places this to creating that and getting it over to your vendor. But really, that's where NetSuite leaves off. And, and when I worked at NetSuite and specifically with a bunch of retailers, this was a challenge for them. So once they got that PO created, they had a hard time getting information back from their suppliers, as Kelly mentioned. So what Source Day does is pulls that order directly into our platform and allows users to start collaborating on this. So if you're unfamiliar with Source Day, that really means that things like prices, quantities, and dates, if those need to change, if those need to shift, we're now giving you a tool and a platform in order to collaborate in one place with your suppliers. And ultimately, at the end of the day, what that means is we're giving them a great place for them to enter in ASN or advanced shipment notice data and capture that shipment and pass it back to you within Source Day. But we don't want to stop there. And that's where our dropship connector really comes into play and where the magic starts to happen. And that's where we're going to create that item fulfillment record back into NetSuite. Now, all of this matters to you because you don't have to manually do this anymore. If you're going through and creating lots of dropship orders, that means you're probably having to hound your suppliers and ask them for that information. Hey, when did this ship? When is it going to get to my customer? Because you're probably getting pinged on the other side from your customers asking, hey, when's my product going to arrive at my door? And in the age of Amazon, we all want it two days away, right? So having this ability to get back to our end customers is not only important, it's vital for your organization. You don't want any bad reviews online. You don't want to have any, any sort of hiccups along the way to upset those customers. So we're going to enable you to have that automated flow back into NetSuite. So that's exactly what we'll do today. We'll start off on a sales order, see how that dropship process works and how we can pass that information over to your suppliers how they can create a shipment and how that's going to come back to you within Source Day, as well as how that's all going to end up with the big crescendo of updating back into NetSuite so you can then update your customers as well as charge or create that invoice. So sliding here, we'll, we'll kick off on that sales order. So like I said, those of you who are familiar with this, those end customers are going to place a sales order. We'll capture that and have that created within NetSuite. Now, with the purchase order drop ship process, that PO is automatically going to be created for that item based off settings that you have set up within NetSuite. And that will automatically generate the corresponding purchase order, which is where we pick up. So Source Day is going to grab any purchase order that you have that's in a pending receipt or a pending receipt approved by supervisor status, and not only communicate that over to your supplier, but we're also going to bring that into our platform for your collaboration. So we communicate to your supplier with an email that looks very similar to this. So they're going to get notifications across their day saying, hey, you got some new orders that now require acknowledgement. And we're going to give them a link right into their side of source day so they can drill directly in, acknowledge those orders and start to get them fulfilled and start passing you back better information. And in addition to this, it's going to land on their side or their login of Source Day. So what you're seeing here is a repository for all the living and breathing purchase orders with this supplier. 
So we're here logged in in that view, seeing all those orders. When they get a new dropship order, those will hit the pending tab and we'll ask them to acknowledge those and pass back any updates that need to occur. Or in this case, if we have a specific order that we want to go ahead and get fulfilled, and we know that's a dropship order that we need to pass back to, to not only our buyer, but to their end customer, we can narrow down this search by just populating that specific item or that specific PO number directly into the search and pulling that order up. And from there, being the good supplier that I am, I'm just going to go ahead and ship that out because I know that's important to my buyer and their end customer. So I can grab that order and start to populate some basic information. Who's going to carry this order over? How is it going to end up making it to my end customer? And then what's the overall time there? So I'm sending it maybe via UPS Air here next day. So it's going to take a couple of days to get there. And in addition to just this generic header level information and passing that back, I can also add in any backup documentation. So bill of lading or you know, any, any extra information that I think my buyer may need to know, I can throw in there, as well as line level specific information. So this is a great place to enter in that tracking number or any other line level detail. Now, as a supplier, this is really all I need to do. And as soon as I mark this as shipped, all of that information is going to start the process of making its way over to my buyer as well as to their end customer. So what you just saw was how easy that is for me. First, we start off in NetSuite, that sales order created the purchase order. We didn't have to do anything in between. It just automatically gets picked up by source day, communicates over to that supplier. The supplier can now see those orders, grab them, acknowledge them, and ship them out when they're ready. Now we'll slide over and see this now through the buyer's perspective. So here we're now on buyer Bob's side of source day, and we'll see how that information that the supplier just entered is now being passed directly back to me without me having to follow up or bug them or do anything like that. So I, here I have the same view and then I can drill in and see that exact shipment as it was just created by my supplier. So source day is generating an ASN number for this as well as passing me back all that information that you just saw me enter on the supplier side. So now buyers are now kept in the loop in real time as orders are being shipped out to the end customer, suppliers are gonna be entering that information. So we talked about earlier, that's difficult, that's cumbersome, that's all in email, spreadsheets and phone calls today. So now we can make that easy and consolidated for those suppliers to enter it in. And some of you may be thinking, hey, he just entered in one line, that looked easy. It didn't look like it was too much of a challenge, but what if my suppliers don't want to use, you know, that the, the import feature, or sorry, if they don't want to do it directly in the UI, they can import that information in bulk and pass back the, that information. So if you have a lot of dropship orders, we also make this easy and flexible for those suppliers in order to be able to, to import that information and pass it back in bulk. Now, again, this is really where that magic starts to occur. So we're going to write this information right back into NetSuite. So if we revisit that purchase order, what we'll see is that is now in a pending bill status. So this has been updated. I can already tell it's been received. And what happened was we're now generating that item fulfillment or that item shipment record. So if we go to our related records on the purchase order, I can see that that's already been generated. And if I drill into that record specifically, I can see all of that same information now being passed back here. So I can see my carrier, my tracking number, the means of transport, and the goods that were sent back. So I now have this full picture of everything that was just created in Source Day because that information was automatically fed back into NetSuite and paid the bills by the receipt process on the PO, as well as updating that sales order. So now we can see our sales order that corresponds to that Dropship purchase order is in a pending bill, billing status as well. And ultimately, this goes all the way back to what Kelly said up front, which is this is the key for getting that invoice created out to your customer so you can get paid. Or if you're in the retail scenario, this is the, the point where you can now charge the card you have on file because there's been the exchange of goods. It's been shipped out. You can now recognize that revenue faster as well as get that process started. So at the end of the day, this is really not only going to help your buyers not have to chase down suppliers as well as do a bunch of manual updates on their end to try to keep NetSuite clean, but we're also going to help that finance team 
recognize revenue in real time. And then ultimately, who's at the end of the chain or who did we start with? That's going to be our customer, right? We want to keep them up to date. We don't want them being frustrated or left in the dark, not knowing when their order is going to arrive. So all of this information making its way back into NetSuite can ultimately achieve those three goals. Kelly, that's all I had to show on the, the demo portion. Anything I missed or anything else you want me to touch on? No, that was great. We actually um, will jump into questions. I think there were a few that came in, so I want to make sure that we definitely get to those. Yeah. Uh, one question for you first uh, came from Tammy. She wants to know, um, can the dropship print a pack list? So can we print those packing lists? In the drop ship print a pack list. So what we can do in source day is when that supplier creates the shipment, we do have a native packing list or basically a shipping label as well as an ASN. So everything that's included in that shipment. So you will have access to that in source day um, and so will your suppliers. So I'm not sure if that accurately answers your question. Please let us know in the chat if that doesn't, but we can generate those standard packing slip and, and shipping labels for you. Yes, yeah, and I don't believe it discriminates between like the type of shipment. So I think you're you're absolutely correct there. Awesome. Um, some other questions that we have, I think uh, you touched on it, but I just want to really kind of make sure people understood that. But um, if a supplier is, they have hundreds of drop ship orders. Let's say at any given time, a lot of our customers, seventy percent, or you know, a big chunk of their business is drop ship. Uh, so you mentioned that we have that bulk upload for the suppliers. Can you just touch on that again briefly? Yeah, absolutely. There, there are several ways that suppliers can interact with our platform. They can do it directly in the UI. They can take bulk action. They can work through a checklist format that we have built for them. But what we also found is there's a lot of suppliers that want to do an export of all that data, manipulate it, and then import it back in. So they have full access and availability to do that. So if they're sending out a hundred orders, they're shipping out a hundred orders in one day, they probably don't want to go through and update that UI individually. So we give them the flexibility and the ability to import that information with a CSV import. They can update all hundred shipments at once and pass that all back to us as the buyer. And then again, as we've stated, ultimately back to that end customer. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. And Keith just sent one in and I want to make sure we touch on it. I might need your help on one of the acronyms, but we talked about the item fulfillment and how we automate that. But how about the IR for PO? And I don't know what the R stands for. In item receipt. Suite. Yeah. Item, item receipt. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so if you're if you're using the dropship functionality within NetSuite, and that, that's probably my fault. I probably moved too fast, but we're creating the item fulfillment record. And in the dropship process, that actually pays the bills for both the item fulfillment and the item receipt at the same time. So it's one transaction that is both paying the bills for the sales order as well as the purchase order. So one thing to update both. So you don't have to do anything. It's all in that same transaction. Awesome, thank you. Uh, okay, Courtney, I'd love for you to jump in. There's two questions that came in I think you can help with. So this person has suppliers that only participate in a small part of the shipping process. They want to know if they can share their login or how they would get them access without uh, making it difficult for them and sure. if they would need to be charged for that or anything. So um, something that I, I probably briefly touched on earlier as well is that uh, so suppliers don't have to pay for their access to source day. That's something that's included in the cost for the customer that you're helping to collaborate with on POs. So when it comes to setting up shared logins, we would prefer to set up the individuals that need access. So that way we understand, hey, if someone within your organization that you might be sharing access with is no longer with the company, we can turn off that access for that individual and allow the security to remain for those remaining people that need to provide updates for PO as well as update any of the shipping records. Yes, awesome. Perfect, so again, Suppliers aren't charged for this, which is such an awesome thing because you can work directly with those important, important pieces of your business um, without inconveniencing them with passing on some type of charge. And keep it's in mind, Kelly, uh, sorry, just one other thing is that 
you're not limited. So if it takes five people to update a PO from the supplier side, we'll set up five people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they'll get the training and all of that fun stuff too. So we're right there with you the whole step. Thank you, Courtney. The next question is also, I think something you can shed light on. This person is already a source state customer. So they're just wondering how long it would take to get this up and running if they decided to go with the dropship connector. So if you're already an existing customer, um, we're looking at about four weeks just to make sure that we can plan that, uh, that meeting with our integration team and execute and make sure that we also run some testing. So short answer, about four weeks. Awesome. Thank you. Um, we're getting some coming in right now uh, from Deborah. Let's see. Is there a recommended number of drop ships or percentage where this makes sense to put into their business this automation? So let's say it's less than 100 POs per year. Does that make sense? And I think, Michael, maybe you can chime in on this. Yeah, I, I would say that's that's pretty on a case by case basis. You know, it depends if you have 100 POs each year and those are causing you hours of backlog or hours of follow up with your suppliers, then, yeah, that justifies it. Even if you had 10, that's that's causing issues. And what I would say, too, is the important part of getting back to the end customer. Right. It takes one bad experience for an end customer not getting what they wanted and one bad Google review or something similar in order to, to really throw a wrench into things. So. I would say there's probably not really a, a, a certain number, and that's really up to y'all as to, to what that looks like in your world. Um, but I would I would think anything that's causing you any sort of headaches or any sort of uh, you know, manual effort, it's a, definitely a good fit for. Yeah. And just to add to that and stress it, it's, it's really like if it's only five POs a year or five POs a month, um, but it has a high financial impact on your business, I you know, that's something to take in consideration as well. Um, and I, I'll take this one. Uh, Deborah also asked us to upload apply to orders other than dropship and absolutely. So that is a standard feature uh, in our platform that we give to suppliers so they can easily choose how they want to get that information back to you. I think we got some awesome questions. So what I'm going to do is create that FAQ sheet and I'll send it out in the thank you email tomorrow to everyone. So you'll get the recording, this slide deck. So if you want to share that with your team or colleagues, please do. And then you'll also have a PDF of all the questions that were asked and the answers just to um, have something to go back on and reflect. And if your teammates have the same questions. I want to say thank you to Courtney and Michael. You guys are awesome. I always learn a ton of new things whenever I hear you guys talk about our products. So I appreciate you participating in this and everyone who joined us. This is such a big moment for Source State. It's the first time we've shown the dropship connector. So appreciate you being here and sharing that with us. At the end of this, when the session ends, you'll see a, a survey pop up on your screen. If you could please take a couple minutes to fill that out. It, gives us the feedback that we need to create great content for you in the future. Uh, there's also an opportunity if you want to talk more about the dropship connector, whether you're a current customer of Sourcey or um, just looking in and looking around, go ahead and let us know in that survey and we'll get someone, one of our experts to reach out to you. So thanks again. And until next time, we will chat about dropshipping. <laughs>